Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, I will show you how to resolve this particular issue of binary path setting. Most of the people get this issue while they are uh, using PG Admin 4 or PostgreSQL 14 version for the first time and their binary path is not set. So let's find out and fix the issue. So for that, let's open the PG Admin first. I will open the PG admin I have already installed in the last video I have shown you how to download and install the PG admin 4 and PostgreSQL 14 version if you have missed that you can watch that video link is given in the video description I will log in So now we have opened the PG admin 4 tool. Now the next step will be to go to files and then go to preferences. Here all the preferences you will get for browser, for dashboard, debugger and uh, everything else that uh, PG admin 4 tool consists of. We need to go to the paths and then binary paths. Just scroll down here, browser, dashboards, debugger, ERD tool, miscellaneous, then paths. Under the path, we have here one option, binary paths. So here we have two options here. One is for EDB advanced server binary path and the second one is PostgreSQL binary path. So basically we need to set the path for our servers. Currently, if you see my server, it is PostgreSQL 14. So what I need to do is to select the PostgreSQL 14 version let me go again to that option here it is binary paths then here I will mention my binary path the binary path is the same as where your all the exe files are stored so let's go to the folder where we have installed the PostgreSQL usually the location will be like this under the C under the C drive then program files now go to PostgreSQL database now go to this one 14 because the current server is installed it's 14 now go to bin so here we are into the binary path folder and now we need to copy this path we can select this and do right click and copy this and now let's go to again the PG admin here we need to paste this we have done it and again in the last one also we can paste it okay so it is done now we can save this one so our binary path is set up and now when I try to access the files so it won't show me this particular error that uh, utility file not found and etc so now the path is set up and so in the next video, I will show you how to create a sample database and load that called DVD rental for example. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel to get the updates. Thank you.